Today, I'm gonna to show you how to paint a simple but effective sky that you can use with almost any subject that you wanna paint. What I love about this is that it only takes a couple minutes to paint, but it creates a beautiful atmospheric effect. And I'm gonna go through it with you step by step. I'll show you what colors I'm using and we'll talk through the wet into wet technique to paint this subject. So here's an example of a recent painting that I did. And this is the type of sky that we're gonna create today. The sky is not a main feature of the painting, but still you wanna portray that midday feel of blue sky and some clouds in the distance. And if you look closely here, you can see some nice subtleties and value change and color temperature. And it's really just enough to hint at the sky. I am painting on a 140 pound cold press Saunders Waterford paper. Now this sky we're gonna paint today is going to be wet into wet painting. So I have this natural sponge that I'm gonna use and I just simply go over the back of my paper and then I go over the front of my paper. And I don't need to worry about preserving any dry parts of the paper, I just go over the whole thing. All right, I'm using a large mop brush and what I wanna do first is I wanna paint the subtle color of the clouds. So what I like to use is a little bit of lavender, a little bit of neutral tint, and a touch of raw sienna. Now, if you don't have all these colors, that's okay. Basically, you're trying to create a light gray color that leans towards warm. And it's a pretty light consistency, kind of a tea mixture. And we go ahead and we're just gonna cover a lot of the paper where we want our clouds to be. This is the cloud color that we're painting now. And you can just bring that down to wherever your horizon is in your scene. And so now we have established that light value for the clouds. And then what I usually do is I go back in and I do this same thing with just a little bit darker pigment a little bit more value. And then we go back here, the clouds have little subtle value changes, little bits of shadow under the clouds. I hope you can see this on camera. It's just creating some really subtle, little soft wet into wet value change. Okay? And then you can bring that down to wherever your, your horizon is in your painting. So next I'm going to some cerulean blue. I'll start this over here and maybe a touch of ultramarine blue. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we are gonna negatively paint around our clouds. And it, this is a really fun part of the process. And you can do this over and over again and your clouds will, will turn out a little different each time. So one thing that's helpful is to turn your brush, get a little bit of variety of brush stroke. You know, you don't want every little mark to look exactly the same. So now you can see we're starting to let some clouds subtly begin to appear on the paper. And as you get to the down to the horizon, these little bands of clouds, they're narrower together as we get further away. So you want to remember the perspective of the clouds as well. Just real simple. Have fun with it. So there's our sky just disappearing into nothing there. We are almost done. We're just gonna add a touch of stronger pigment up near the top of the sky. So we're gonna use some more cerulean. Just a kind of a stronger value of what we already have used here. And we wanna just add a touch of a little more value up here. And what that does is it really gives your sky a little more focus. So now we kind of have a main cloud there. And just like before, try to use a variety of brush strokes. You don't want everything to look exactly the same.
Okay, and that is essentially it. Now we have created a wonderful, subtle background of clouds that we can paint our landscape scene on, you can paint your street scene on top of, anything like that. And you can see the subtle value changes, the little suggestions of cloud shapes, and it really creates a nice background for any type of subject that you might want to paint. If you are ready to take your paintings to the next level, I have a free video lesson just for you. The seven secrets of fresh and powerful painting. In this lesson, I tell you how to plan out your painting, how to mindfully paint your scene, and most importantly, how to put down your brush before you overwork your painting. Once you sign up for this lesson, I send you two things. I send you a pre-painting checklist that you can take a look at before every painting, and this ensures that you're thinking through these things before you get started. I also include my watercolor supplies guide. So if you have any questions about paints, about pigments, brushes, anything like that, you can find all that in my watercolor supplies guide. All you have to do is follow this link here to get my free video lesson, Seven Secrets of Fresh and Powerful Painting. I'll see you there.